this is going to be a brief video about axes and handles. And uh, you know, there's actually there's a little bit you need to know before you just go and get a really, really nice axe out of the store. Um, especially one thing, and that's the handle. You can have the best axe head in the world, but if the handle's no good, really the axe is going to fail you at some point in time. So let's take a look at that. I'm Dean, and this is the Alberta Bushcrafter Channel. Alright, now a lot of people are carrying these. This is the Fiskars X7 hatchet. Fiskars also makes Gerber, so there's other versions of that. You may have seen a video on that. Now, if it's something like this, you're not going to have to worry about what I'm talking about now, which is axe handles. This is just a solid, you know, composite handle of some sort, some kind of plastic. It's hollow, it's not good for storing things in, except for maybe this little cool lanyard I made, which I actually find useful. I might show you how to do that in an upcoming video, though. I have some to make for my, uh, my saws. Anyways, this video is not about this because, well, break the handle on this, Fiskars will replace it for free. Apparently. I still use this, it's in my car kit. No, what I'm talking about are these guys. So I'm going to teach you one little trick. Now, I've bought a number of axes over the years. This one is 27, 28 years old. And it's in excellent shape. Part of that's the handle. But recently I was in an outdoor store looking at axes. And actually there's another place looking for these. Because I have a larger axe I have to replace the handle on. Maybe another upcoming video too. And I have a hatchet to do. I need to tell you, I went into one outdoor store. And I spent, no kidding, I went through an entire bin of 40 Grands Force axes and not one of them had a decent handle. I also went through another bin of 30 Wetterlings axes and I know some of you guys can say well you know, that's because they're not great anyway. Well they're very good axes I gotta say. They're really nice but not one of the handles was any good and I'll show you what I mean. I also went through the bin of 50 of these before I got this handle and this is the only one that was anything close to decent and I went through 30 of these for the hatchet handle. Again, I found one that was decent and not entirely so. So let's look at what I'm talking about. I've got this little visual aid to show you and it's all about the grain. So we'll take a look at this one first. Don't know how well you can see it. It's a little dusted up. But you see how the grain runs in straight lines? Right. You might. Better examples coming soon. Anyways, here's the wood grain. We'll take a look. You see it's the best handles have the grain running all in one direction. It's usually made from quarter saw and hickory or something. They're very tough to find. As you can see when you're picking an axe, when you look closer here, in a very good axe, the grain is going to run parallel to the axe head. And as you look at axe handles, some of them will start looking like that. That's not great. The worst kind of axe handle has a grain running like that or even like that. That's a dangerous handle to have. And I'll tell you why. Because the stress of the handle, the stress of the axe head is directly in line with the grain of the wood. So as this hits something, you know I'm not going to give myself another ding here like I did with one of my previous videos, but as it hits something, remember you've got it here, um, the wood's got to be parallel to the axe head, otherwise what it can actually do is split. So if, if the grain was running perpendicular, what it would do is actually split the wood right there. It's a weak point in the wood. So it's really, really good axe. It's got to be parallel with 
the exit. So you, you look down it, and you take a look, and this is almost dead straight. That's why this axe has been around for like 20 plus years. Let me show you a little closer to what I mean. Pardon me for a minute. Let you guys see it a little better. This is a great example. So as this, this is almost in line with the head. So it's going to be parallel to the force of the axe. If it were the other way, if it were like this, it would split. Another example, right there. So you can see the grain, almost perpendicular. This was the best one of the bunch. So that's it. I'm showing you is, uh, I wish I had found my old axe head that that is going on. It's it's in storage right now, but it's actually split right there. A big chunk came off, and the whole head fell off. I really dread, you know, whoever was using that axe at the time, because it must have scared the crap out of them. It would me. All right, so that's. That's how to choose a good axe handle. The other things you want to look for are, is the handle straight? See, this one, I'm looking down at it, it is perfectly straight. And the other things you look at it, the bit, at the bit of the axe, and you want to look for any kind of twist. That goes for brand new axes or axe handles. And this one is still perfectly straight. If it wanders one way or another, it's going to be unbalanced. And it's going to be a problem and there's a good chance it's going to throw off your work at the very least it's going to be hard to use it could even glance off something and injure you like these are not davy crockett toys here these are serious implements and this one is fairly seriously sharp too you know these are serious tools for serious people and they got to be treated seriously so again those are several tips on how to pick a good axe, just by looking at the handle and looking at how it lines up. You would be surprised, I just went through a bin of 30 fire axes, and they were on sale, they were only 15 bucks. Not one of them had a decent handle. They were either perpendicular like this, and they would have snapped the first time you used it, or the handle, actually you'd be looking at it, and the handle would be over here, so it was curved. You imagine using a tool like that, that could probably do some serious damage to you. So again, finding a great axe is difficult. If you, you know, finding the perfect axe is quite a chore and it's not as easy as it looks. But this will give you a bit of an idea where to start from. Don't worry about the rest of it, whether it's a Husqvarna or a Halta Force or a Council Tools or a Wetterlings axe or whatever, or a garage sale axe. Seriously, you can find some great ones there. The head's one thing. The head is one thing, and that's what you're paying for in that name. But the handle is everything. I want to thank everyone for watching. I'm Dean. This is the Alberta Bushcrafter Channel. Take care, and good day.